Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne and as shown on the screen right now, in this video I'm going to teach you all about how to make a cover image uh, with text. So as you can see we've got a nice um, space uh, image in the background with some text and it's got like this kind of like this faded cloudy look in between the text and the image as well. So this video is going to show you exactly how you can do this uh, using only HTML and CSS. Now you might have seen this type of stuff um, on on uh, WordPress or something where it's called a cover image and then you can center the text left or right uh, and so on and this video is going to show you exactly how to do that so with that said I'm going to hand you over to uh, the, the developer David and he's going to show you all about how to do it before we get started don't forget to give this video a massive like and also a subscribe for any future videos that I release uh, as well so let's get started so the HTML is a div wrapper and a hello world h3 tag. That's it. And all we're going to just care about with is this white box. All right. Because I don't, I don't want you to focus on the whole body because it's the same principle here, but just for the sake of demonstration purposes, um, we're just going to use this white box as if it was the body. But like I said, it's the same thing as if it was the actual body. So, now, first things first is in this example, we want to be able to work, show you how we can move this hello world uh, in all different positions. So in the top left, in the, in the top middle, in the top right, uh, and so on, in all, all different positions so you can center it or align it how you want. And this is easily done, all right? And what we're going to say is in the wrapper, we're going to use flex and display flex and in this scenario we're going to use column right you could use row but i'm going to use column and the first thing we want to do is is then um, justify the content now justify content is all directly related to the direction of flex direction okay so if this is column this is column as well all right and in this sense we're going to say flex end just to not use center all right to show you that we can move it to the end and align items is the opposite of the flex direction. So this is going to be then the row. So it's going to be the X uh, axis and column is then the Y axis. So in this sense, we're going to say then um, if we want this one to be the columns, this is going to go on the bottom because it's the column. And we're going to say this is going to go to the right. So we're going to say flex end on this. So we should see bottom right. All right. And if we come back to here, you see bottom right this is where we can we can move it to and so if we want to move down the text to then the right and the middle we can then obviously the column so we want to move it through the y axis which is the column so we want center and we want to keep the align items to the right so justify content will be center and as you can see it, it does how you want now if we want to move the text over to the left hand side that is then the X axis, so we then say flex start here too. So we've now learned how to move the text around um, quite efficiently, all right? Now you could start using padding and margin and all sorts of stuff uh, as well, but this video is not about how to use padding and margin. It's just about how to do this cover image with text. So let's just be nice and simple and put the text in the middle, shall we? Okay, super. So uh, we've already decided, or our design team has decided, we want to have this text, okay, this color text. And they've also given us this background, this lovely background image from Unsplash as well. And so we need to use this image. How do we do that? Okay. Well, first things first is we want to be able to make the wrapper have that background color, that background image, all right? And so we can just say here, background image and say URL and this is going to be in assets and then background uh, dot JPEG here and there's a couple of things we need to do we need to say position and for this example just going to say center and then size we're going to say cover right we want it to cover the whole thing regardless of the size of the the, the, the window or the body or the document we want to cover it all the time and now we need to say background repeat to no repeat so it doesn't repeat that's kind of quite important so now you can see that we've got the image there but our text has been it's been a little bit faded all right because of the background so we want to add this like white sheet over the top of the image to make the, the text stand out once again now the question is how do you do that because we whoops we can't change the background color right because you see we've got background color of the wrap already and if we change the background color of um the h3 you see we only get you know the size of the content itself now yes we could 
widen the content of the h3 but we want to know the h3 can be moved anywhere you want we might want to add some other other text to it as well so we don't really want to do on the h3 but we don't want to add any more html to this we just want to keep it as minimal elements as possible so what we can do is we can say wrapper and then before all right and it's super important that we add the content all right and let's just say uh, this is some content here just to show you if you're new to this what this actually does and let's just say uh, color uh, white as well and to show you this is some content here all right it's in the center okay uh, but we want this this content to fill up the whole of the 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 image the wrapper all right and this is easily done as well but uh, you can see I've already set the wrapper to position relative because we want anything with inside of the wrapper to to be position absolute and uh, so we come here and say in before position absolute because we're now styling the co this content here we're now styling this text here this content box here all right and so position absolute is relative to this content box all right and we're going to say that it's going to be width 100% and height is going to be 100% too. And I'm going to say top is then going to be zero and left is then going to be zero. So we now see that where, where it's gone to, it, it should be now taking up the whole, whole of the box. And if you can see when we use the debug tools, that it is taking up the whole of the box. So let's now give it a background color of, and we're going to use RGBA here and, uh, just say 255, 255 to make it uh, white. Let's say 100% opacity. And you can see now we lose everything. We, so the text, the text now is underneath it, right? And I'm, uh, the text now is underneath it. So we wanna be able to move the text above it first of all. Well, we can do this with Z index, all right? And so let's just, let's just change the Z index to this to see like a super uh, negative number and, uh, and see what happens. Okay, well, so we now see that the, the background color of uh, the H3, let's just change that to red. The background of the Hello World is now red, but we seem to have lost this, uh, this white background because it's probably too much. So let's now come and copy that and put it in the wrapper itself and just say let's say this is 99 this is like a nice debug here ah okay so now we see that the white text is sitting above the image now but it's sat behind the hello world and we haven't added any z index to the hello world so what would happen if we said minus 101 to the text you can see the text would disappear what about say minus 100 does it come back yes so it sits above the, the wrapper here, all right? So when, when they're both compared to each other, the H3, because it sits after it, is gonna be visible, all right? Because of the order of the content. But we don't necessarily need to put the Z index on this one wrapper, all right? But so now we see this white text. Well, this what's great about this is we can now just say like 0 0.3 to remove the alpha. And if we remove the background color on the H3, the, what's important is that the color stays the same, right? So if we come back to, to one on here, we see that it's a proper, it's a proper color. Right? The, the, the color stays the same, right? And what's interesting is that if we, if we say, and we overwrite it here, and we say red, and we make now the background of the wrapper before another opacity, you see the red stays exactly how it was. So this, this opacity change of the background is not affecting the opacity of this text. Now, if we did that to the opacity of the wrapper, that would make the opacity for all of the content, the, the child elements also take that opacity too. So this is a way of basically getting around this. So now that we can, we can get rid of this text that's just not required anymore, you can see that we can change the gradient now of the that background background color and let's just get rid of that text once again and so you can see that we've managed to to make uh, a a nice image and whether or not you want to have the, the text this way you know from, from this one point onwards you could change the the, the font weight um, or the the size of this one text anyhow you want and you could obviously add um, some some padding uh, to it let's say two eames and make a background color of uh, white as well, like this, and you could then um, 
you could then say like whoops rg we could copy this for example right it's just an idea could copy this and say uh, minus oh it's a 0.8 and now you can see that we've got uh, just a little bit more text in it or you could say um, 0.3 and we've got uh, you know a little bit more emphasis on it I don't know you could say that's 0.8 and that's points so put this to 0.6 you could play around with this however however you feel fit to however you can get the best the best visual effect for your text but I, I'm not here to show you how to do design stuff that's not what I'm all about but I'm just showing you how you could do it um, so with that said I hope this has been interesting to you to be able to do this without any JavaScript and just using pure CSS and it, it's all about using the pseudo classes and the pseudo elements and so on to be able to understand this all right is that you know you are basically styling this content and it's where you put the image before you know because you're you're saying that the the, the image belongs to the wrapper itself and now this curtain let's call it belongs to the before and we we are setting them over the top of each other like this with that said i hope you've learned something here it's pretty fun to do this and it's a nice little trick to be able to learn um, so if you have learned something please feel free to put it in the comment section below if there's anything I've missed out or you think I could extend it in a future video I'm more than happy to listen to what you your thoughts are and be able to do that video as well um, please think about giving this video a like it really does help the algorithm to assist other people to find my videos it doesn't help me it just helps other people um, these videos are for you uh, they're not there for me they might be there for me in the future to look at um, but yeah if you're interested in learning any more things um, then at the moment uh, if you're you know around February 2024 I am making content that, that, that's released every single day at 8 a.m. Um, in uh, German time so Central European time um, and I'm just going to keep trying doing content uh, for people that are learning you know maybe getting into HTML you know I'm not trying to teach them about HTML I'm just trying to teach them a few tricks um, that they could maybe uh, use to, to enhance their own websites or enhance their own uh, knowledge with that said thank you very much and I will see you in the next video ciao ciao goodbye